Hello, my friends. My name is Amanda with Nana Panda Projects, and today I have one of the cutest crafts ever for you guys. I am using a set of wooden mittens from Woodpecker's Crafts. I can definitely give you a link for those if you need them. They're pretty small. They're like a good, maybe like four inches, um, and they're chunkies, and I love them. And I'm using the Dollar Tree like tiles, and I just traced the mittens onto the tiles, and then I cut those out, okay? These are like plasticky material so you got to be careful when you're painting and drying them but they make super cute craft supplies so i just traced both of those out and then i cut both of those out okay so once i had them all cut out i went ahead and i used my waverly plaster um it's like a off white kind of um i love my waverly okay i love my waverly i was using a different one for a little while and it was just not the same so i painted those white it did need two coats so i ended up giving it a little bit of a dry in between and then going ahead and then giving it another little coat i'm gonna be putting some other stuff on this so i wasn't too concerned if it was like a pure stark white coat and then i took some rub and buff uh, i used the gold leaf okay i could have used gold paint but i really like this color so i just did all the edges of the chunky mittens with the gold leaf and then i used my waverly antique wax i just brushed it all on the gloves dirtied them up brushed it over the top i'd make sure i got the edges really good so you can tell the edges are nice and dark and then the magic I take the rub and buff and I rub it all over the top of the tile. So it really just catches the gold on all the raised parts. And look how pretty that is. You can see it looks even better like up close and in person. But together, I just love the way that this looks. And then I glued those to the top of my mittens and they are coming together. If you like these cute crafts and you guys love these little videos with lots of Christmas decor coming up, make sure that you're following the page because you never know, you might never see my videos again if you don't follow. So make sure you follow. Um, I took some fur. I got this from Simplicity Creative Group last year. Um, it's like the perfect gnome fur. It's good for mittens, Santa hats, everything. And I just had to grunge it up a little bit. So I used my wax on that, my antique wax, just so that it matched the vibe I was going with. Um, then I glued it to the top. Just use a little bit of hot glue, glued it down. It, I had to cut it a little bit to size, but for the most part, it was pretty much the perfect size. So I did that on the top of both of the mittens. I just glued it all the way around the side and all the way around the top so that it looked like it was the cuff of the mitten. All right, so now it's time for the cute little bows. So I used some fabric, got this fabric at Walmart. Um, I just ripped it into pretty thin, small strips. And then I cut those strips in half because I'm gonna, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with the bow. I did them pretty short. Um, I just ripped up some muslin, some white like old newspaper writing fabric, some tan ticking, um, and then I do some gold and then some gold shimmery tool. Okay, so I just ripped up a bunch of strips. I don't know how many total, maybe like 20 strips total, um, just a couple of each one. And then when I had them all, I had to, I couldn't obviously rip the tool, so I had to use, break out my rotary cutter, break out my cutting mat. And then I do the bow. So to the for the bow, I didn't loop it or anything. You could do this without a bow maker easily. You would just literally make it an X and just pile them on top of each other. That's all I did. Just one, one, boom, 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 on top of each other in like an X, like a messy X formation. Um, and then I just tied some twine around that. And then even then, the fabric was way too long. It was like gargantuan for my little tiny mittens. So I went ahead and I trimmed those up and cut it down into just the cutest little bow. How st stinking cute is that? So I did that with both. I don't show both, but I did that with both sets of fabric. Um, I made two little bows and then I gl glued a little rusty bell in the center. How cute. And then I glued those onto the mittens. I did like the top right kind of like off to the center and it's coming along look at those okay now we got to make the background i had a couple different backgrounds that i was going to use and it, they, they just didn't look quite right so i ended up having to construct a background out of paint sticks so these are just the 12 inch paint sticks i lined them up i did one two three six of them and then i cut some other paint sticks like the non-handle ones um for the top and the bottom so I used some spare pieces here to brace them together on the back. 
and then I flipped it over and then on the top and the bottom I also did braces that way you can kind of see them and it helped to kind of like frame the mittens and then I just went and I stained the entire background with antique wax um, I just I wet it first I gave it a good coat of wax and then I just wiped it down I made sure to get the edges and the sides too and then I, I decided to add a little bit of white wax on top of it just to give it more of like a I don't know not really snowy but I just like the way that it looked so I, I tested it out I liked it so then I covered the whole thing which is a little bit of white wax so then I took a little bit of my muslin this is just coffee stained muslin I ripped a small piece I broke out my stamp set with my Tim Holtz distress ink and I decided to stamp it on I got these stamps on Amazon like years ago, you guys, I really do not even know what they're called, but I did winter wishes. And then I glued that down and then I glued my mittens down to my paint stick background. And now time for the snowflakes. These were snowflakes. They were like silver. I actually just painted over them gold and I really liked the way it turned out. You could still see the sparkle through it, but they were gold. So it worked out really good. And for the hanger, I used some primitive rusty wire. This is 16 gauge. Um, I did need, need to use E6000 and hot glue because the hot glue, it will not last forever. It will last for a little while, but it won't last forever. So I glued that down and voila, this is it. You guys, it's going to look beautiful with my white and gold and cream and a little bit. Of, I didn't add a leopard to this one, but I got some leopard going on. And I think this is just adorable. Let me know what you think of this, you guys. Make sure to give it a sprinkle. Put it on your page. Just inspire all of Facebook land and YouTube land. And let me know what you think.